I'm Rhoda, welcome to my channel, and welcome to our final workout for our January 2023 program. But don't go anywhere because starting tomorrow, we're rolling out our Fit and Strong program for February. Today, we're gonna to do a dumbbell hit where we're gonna get your heart rate into a fat burning zone while we protect your joints. By adding those dumbbells and that resistance, we can get that high intensity of that hit without the jumping. If that's a type of workout that appeals to you, please subscribe to my channel. There's never a cost to subscribe and you help me keep your fitness free on YouTube. And don't forget to come back tomorrow because February begins a new program. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's start to warm up, swinging the arms, knees up. Want a lot of movement in this warm up. It's getting the blood to these muscles, getting them ready to work. Bring your knees up and twist in front. So, this is all standing, so we will be standing for all the exercises. I will have modifications for any deep knee work like squats or lunges, and there's not a lot of that. We have a lot of rear leg lifts and side leg raises, which will get into that glute, but keep the knees safe. If there is a squat involved, I will give you a modification. So, if you have any joint pain at all, I want you to do the modifications. All right, should be starting to come up. That's the goal. And arms out and in. And bring your arms up overhead. Each round is 45 seconds, so it's a good amount of time. Get some endurance work with that, right? 45 seconds, 15 second rest, and then we'll move on to the next exercise. We have 24 exercises. So I'm gonna grab my light weights, grab your dumbbells, grab your water bottles, soup cans, whatever you have will work. Weight are together, swing them through the knees, and up in a V, make a V, and back. Here we go, up to the V, to the shoulder, back up. Abs tight here, you're working them. Kind of like a kettlebell swing, a little bit. Modification of a kettlebell swing. Now I am bending my knees down and up. If that is not possible, you can hinge from the waist. I just want you to focus on a flat back here. Flat back, little bend in the knees. Abs tight. If you can get down in that squat, take it down a little further. It's just going to bring in more muscles, but not worth it to bring in those muscles if it's causing joint pain, okay? Protect the joints at all costs. Because I want you to come back tomorrow, and the next day, and the next day, okay? Because consistency is what's gonna get you results. Let's put the weight on our shoulder. We're gonna twist, squeezing that rear glute, the butt. Push the weight, okay? And we'll alternate. Deep breath, we'll go with your right arm first. Here we go. Push, push. Hold your abs tight here. They are working. Core is always working when you're working upper and body, lower body at the same time. You'll feel that. Breathe. Get this twist. Squeeze the glute. That squeeze, that's working the muscle, right? You want that muscle to be nice and firm. That's how you get it right there. Come on, let's do this one. And rest, good, okay. When we're down, we're going back to that swing through move. So whether you're bending your knees or not, you're coming down, head stays above the heart as the weight comes up, rear leg lift, we'll stay with one side. So weight is in your right hand, right leg's coming up. Take it down, lift. Deep bend if you can, and lift. Otherwise, hinge and lift. You're still getting plenty of work. You're doing the hinge, all right? Absolutely no shame in modifications because, like I said, you wanna be able to come back time and time again. And what you might find, as you build some strength, the pain will be a little less, and no arthritis. There's not a lot we can do about that. But if those muscles are supporting that joint, you can alleviate some pain. Feel it, feel your bum right there. We warmed it up in the last move. 
There it is, okay. Switching hands, going to the other side. Deep breath. Feel heart rate, 130. I'm in the low end of my cardio range, so that's perfect. Get ready. I'll tell you how we do that in a minute. Here we go, swing it through. And up, so you find your cardio range by taking the number 220. Subtract your age, so everybody starts with a different number based on their age, and you multiply that number by 0.65 and 0.85. So you're getting 65 to 85% heart rate zone. In the lower half of that heart rate zone is where you're gonna burn percentage-wise the most fat. So we don't wanna be up where we're huffing and puffing and unable to talk. We wanna be able to talk, and in the lower end, of your cardio range, which is determined by that 65 to 85%. That's your cardio range. Good, all right, we're gonna rest these shoulders. Give you a couple modifications here. We are going, we'll step out, side lunge, and up, curtsy, up. So follow me, the first one I'm gonna do without the bend, a little tiny bend. Over, getting that inner thigh up, tap back, up. Over, up, tap back, up. Or go deep and lunge it back. So, doesn't seem like a cardio move, but as you're using these large muscles of the lower body, and we're staying on one side, so a lot of intensity on that standing leg. A lot of muscle in that leg, needing oxygen, right? So the heart has to pump oxygen to that muscle. So the heart rate has to come up. You're gonna breathe deep to get that oxygen into your blood so the heart can deliver it to these muscles. So the larger the muscle, the more oxygen it needs. So if we were doing a tricep, right? Smaller muscle, your heart rate's not gonna come up as much. But with the lower body, we get it up there. Right in there, 133. Exactly what I want. Ready? Other side, here we go. Remember your modifications if you need them. And back or engage that inner thigh up, tap it back, engage the glute. There's only a few of these that you would have to modify in this workout. So don't shut it down yet, okay? <laughs> Stay with me. We have lots of leg raises and side raises to get these legs while we protect your joints. We're getting these out of the way early while we're strongest. I'm going to get tired over the course of this workout. I hope. That's the goal. I want you to get tired. Feel like you've worked, right? And if you're just starting out, okay, I should say, if you're just starting out, I'm going to grab my other weight. Maybe you stop after 30 seconds. Give yourself a 30 second rest between these moves. That's totally okay. Weight is facing each other. We're going to step out. One, two, three, and back. Here we go. Step out, one, two, three, bring it back, other leg. Now think about the weight in the heel of the front foot and push out of that heel. Knees are slightly bent and push back. Again, we're in the upper body here, but these are the muscles of the back, larger muscles in the upper body, keeping that heart rate in that heart brain zone, I promise while we get this lean muscle work. So important. And hey, it's nice to have a pretty back too, right? Back. Yeah, good. Okay, back to one weight. Now hold it on either end. We're stepping wide, hinge forward so the back is flat here. Wide and up, or deep squat, up. Step into your right, here we go. Take it wide and up. Here's your modification. Deeper if you can. Do a little of each, as long as you have no pain. Toes are flared a little bit as you step out. Back up to those shoulders, feel them. One. I don't know why. If you have exercises, some that you really like more than others. Tell you what, I don't like real lunges, that's for sure. And we don't have any of those today, so that's good. 
All right, excellent. Whew, shaking it out. I'm gonna pick up my other weight. I'm gonna have the palms facing you. The weight is gonna stay in the front of the body, up and over. As it comes over, rear leg, rear leg. Right side, go. Rear leg. Keep those elbows in at your waist. You don't want this weight flying up near your face. Keep your elbows touching the waist, that won't happen. How's your heart rate? Mine is up there. Whew. So we'll engage those biceps, feel them. Front of the arm. Okay, good. We're gonna take this move. You're gonna take the weight up in front, one at a time, side raise. So side leg raises, alternate, okay? Just like we did, only a little different upper body and going sideways, not back. Lift, lift. I don't know if you can hear me huffing and puffing, but I am. I hope you are too. And I hope you can talk to me right now. If you feel like you couldn't say a sentence, you can try. Rota, this is hard, right? If that's hard to say, you need to bring it down a notch, okay? I want you to be able to talk a full sentence at all times. And if you're just starting out, take a break right now. Take these last 15 seconds off. So you have 30 second rest between rounds. That's completely fine. You're still getting that high intensity interval. Up and then a rest. Okay, my glutes are feeling that. All right, we're headed down to a deadlift. So weight is down in front of the body. As you come up, pull it up, high row, elbows lead here. Down and up, ready? We're gonna do some speed here with this one. Down, up. Now my knees, slightly bent. I'm not squatting, but I'm not locking these knees either. And when I come up, I'm driving my hips forward, squeezing my glutes. So a lot going on here. And drive up the heart rate. Stay with it. Come on, 15 seconds left. Right about now. Take a break if you need it. Otherwise, stick with it. If you're taking a break, good for you for staying with us and doing what you can. And you will see over time, and not a lot of time, as long as you're consistent, it's going to get easier and easier, never super easy. It's a road to work out after all. Known for them being challenging, that's what I want them to be, but it's a good way to measure your progress. Take the weight, either side, elbows towards me, don't flare them out right here. Lift, overhead, side leg lift, up, down, up, down, just like that. Now try and relax your neck. Tends you don't wanna put that chin on your chest. Try to look up, abs tight, Feel the waistline work here. Glutes, your hips, outer hip area. This weight's gonna get heavy, it's only five pounds, it's still gonna get heavy. Whew. Stay with me, come on. Don't worry if you're starting to get kind of crampy in that glute, we're gonna Work it out with a soccer kick right now. So a soccer kick, think about a soccer ball hitting you right by the inside of your foot. You're gonna chop over, chop, chop. You feel a nice stretch. Ready? Right leg first, on the clock, go. Abs are tight, make them work. Lower ab is bringing that leg up in front. Inner thigh is working, They're working together. Two things we want to work, right? A bit of recovery here after that overhead tricep, which is hard. <laughs> Chance to catch your breath a little bit. Yeah. 
Okay. Ah, how are you feeling? You ready to keep going? We are over halfway there. Deadlift. Down as you come up. Rear leg lift. Lead with the heel. And we'll alternate. We'll start with your right leg first. Ready? Here we go. Take it down. Up. Down. And up. Hinge. Squeeze. Large muscle, lower body. What's happening? Heart rate's up, right? Keep your head above your heart, though, okay? Don't look down at your feet. Look out about three feet. Whoops, wait for my fireplace ever. <laughs> Looking out at home is wonderful, but we do have obstacles, right? Some of them are inanimate objects like fireplaces, but others are kids and animals. But you're doing it anyway, so good for you. All right, catch your breath. Going to a front raise, one arm, same leg, side leg raise. You see how these side leg raises and rear leg raises are incorporated into these moves? Getting a lot of glutes, a lot of legs here without a lot of squats or lunges. And this is something in other videos, if you see a squat or a lunge and you aren't comfortable doing it, just resort back to rear leg lifts and side leg raises, just like this. Add one or the other to the move, and you'll have a good substitution. On my videos or anybody's videos, how are you doing? And I am starting to get fatigued, how about you? <sighs> that is good, right? That's what we want. <laughs> Excellent, all right. I'm gonna put one weight down. I'm gonna hold this weight right at my chest, right against me. And I'm gonna knee up, I'm gonna round my back, pull my belly button to my spine, and really, really crunch. Ready? Crunch it. Round it. Relax your neck. The neck is not a part of this. This is all lower abs. Belly button to the spine, pull it back to the spine just like that. March it out. How you doing? We're getting there. Eight more exercises after this. These are two thirds of the way through. Yes. Good. Right, stay with the one way. You're gonna come up and over, up and over and down. Try not to hit your leg here. Control the weight. Up and over and down. We'll go to your right side first. You can do this without weight if you're getting that fatigued that it's too heavy, okay? And it might be. Especially if you're just starting out. Arms over the head. Got to get it to be enough to get your heart rate up. Blood has to pump up, which makes this challenging. Feel it? I hope so. <laughs> wow, shoulders are burning. Pretty shoulders and everything look good. I know I say that all the time, but it's true. Good. Whew. Right. A little bit less on the shoulders, but still shoulders. From right here, pushing up. As you push up, you're gonna step out with the rear leg and back, other side. Okay, so alternating foot forward. Here we go. Step, press, step, press, step and press. Make it a little dance, a little dancey, right? Come on, 20 seconds or so. We're getting there. We have a nice stretch at the end. Whew. 
Whew. All right, how are we feeling? The glutes you might feel a little sore tomorrow. Uh, all right, hamstring curl. Curl with the weight in front. Keep those elbows in so you don't hit the chin or the definitely don't hit your teeth. Ready? Here we go. Curl it up. Breathing kind of making a like a beat here. In and out. How's your energy? You feeling it? It comes and goes. You come to the end of a workout. You're tired, but you're powered for the day. It's kind of cool. Whew. All right, grabbing my other weight. And we're gonna just twist and punch across. So similar to the press up, it's straight out, and you're still squeezing that glute in the back. We'll start with your right arm, ready? Here we go, push it, pump, pump. Abs tight, core is working, always. Seriously, though, the weight gets too heavy, put it down, just punch. You need to rest. Take it now. Leading into our 15 second rest, just add a little time to it. Good. All right. Two options for you. And hold the weight in your right hand. One option is oblique lanes, just like this. Work in the waist. If you can bend the knees, we're gonna lunge over, come up, and then lean. So pick which one. Here we go, over, up, and lean, or just stay with those leans. The weight just hangs, you don't lift with the shoulder at all. You wanna lift right here, over, lift. Hope you feel that. First time I ever did oblique leans, I can remember. First when I started exercising, late 90s, so my late 30s, and then my early 40s. And first time I did these, I thought, oh, that's easy. And the next day, <laughs> wow, I feel my waistline. So you might too, and that's good. But the thing is, you keep doing them, less and less soreness, more and more just firm, nice muscles. Timer going off, not sure why. Okay, we'll turn that off. Get ready, we're lunging the other way. Here we go. Over, up, and lean, or just stay with the lean. I'm not sure why I set that timer. <laughs> I don't think I did it on purpose. You got two more left. You're done. 30 minute workout. Good. We're gonna skate, so step, tap the toe back. When we tap the toe back, the weight is here, but tap the back and push. Push, and get a little bit of rotation in those obliques again. We'll step to your left, okay? Tapping the right toe. Step, tap. Get low if you can. Up here, with knee pain. Stay up here, you're still getting work, right? You feel it. I feel it. This just adds a little more intensity down here. I love skaters, some of you may know that. If you're new here, I'm glad you're here. Like I said, 30 minute workout. Consistency is more important than time. So I have 10 minute and 15 minute workouts on the channel. If you're short on time, consistency. Do a 10 minute workout. Keep your body knowing that it's gonna move every day. And then you have longer time, 
there are 40 and 45 minute workouts. That would be a Saturday morning for me when I actually have the time to do it. Okay, grabbing the weight in one hand, feet are together. You're gonna either squat, change hands, or you're gonna hinge at the waist, hinge. Watch your knees here. Weight is far enough away, it does not hit those legs. Swing it down and back. Hinge or bend the knees. Hinge at the waist, or bend at the knees too. Call the suitcase swing. I want you to swing the weight. It's not so much a lift as it is a swing. Right where we started with those modified slings, remember? Modified kettlebell swing. I'm trying these dumbbells in my workouts. No special equipment because I want as many people to be able to do these as possible. And you can always grab water bottles as you can. So even if you're traveling, you might have water bottles, right? No excuse not to exercise. All right, you made it. Good for you. How do you feel? I hope you feel great. Let's step back with one foot. Push your heel to the mat. Now this is a deep stretch in that calf. You're gonna feel it. Don't push too hard. Catch your breath. Whew. I love it. I love getting it done. Step back, toe up. I mean, there are lots of days I don't want to do it either. People think that us trainers, you know, every single day we're like, yay, let's work out. That's not true. That is not true. We have to push ourselves too. So heel down. After 20 years, it's hard for me too. Not that I don't love it, I do. I love the way exercise makes me feel. I love being strong. And I love that I am aging as gracefully as I can, right? I've always said, you know, with age comes wisdom, because I have always said, you know, age is just a number. Well, now I am looking at my 59th birthday a week from today. So that's 365 days from 60, which is just a number, right? That's a big number. And I'm sure some of you are there and past it, so you could probably give me some advice on how to mentally deal with that. But I have to remind myself, age is just a number. And because I take care of my body, my body is younger than my years, I hope. That's the hope anyways, reach up and over. And it's not just the exercise that you do, okay? I'm gonna get on my soapbox here for just a second. <laughs> it's what you put in your body. If you haven't kicked the sugar habit, I would highly encourage you to think about cutting back your sugar. Sugar ages us. And now I'm crossed. I work through an app called Kickoff where I coach clients on diet and exercise. So they use my videos to train and we work on diet. If you're interested in learning more, there's a link in the description below. But one of the things that we really tackle is sugar and hydration. Lots and lots of water. Water keeps your skin and your hair and your nails, all of your organs running so much better. Bring your hands back and round your shoulders back. So what you put in is as important as what you do to the outside, if not more so. And pat yourself on the back, say congratulations, you did a great job, Bruna. Come back tomorrow and the next day. Consistency is the key. Other side. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I answer all comments. Lower your shoulders. I, when I, before I became a trainer, I asked a trainer, uh, at that time we were on DVDs, other direction and her number was on the DVD and I called her and she called me back and I couldn't believe it. I was actually talking to this trainer, her name is Jari Love, she's still training out of Vancouver, Canada, deep breath. But she answered my question. Exhale, one more, deep breath in. And I'm here to do that for you. Exhale, round the shoulders one more time. And the other direction. And a big smile. I am so glad you made it to the end with me right here, right now. Please come back often. 
Take care of yourself and have a great day.